The Very Fairy Princess, Graduation Girl. The Very Fairy Princess, Graduation Girl by Julie Andrews and Emma Walton Hamilton. Illustrated by Christine Davenier. Hello, hello, I'm Jerry. I'm a very fairy princess. Not everyone believes me, and I try not to brag about it too much. But my wings and crown do give me away a bit. Fairy princesses are very enthusiastic. We love being creative and hobnobbing with new friends, and we're at our best on special occasions. It's the perfect way to share our sparkle with the world. Speaking of special occasions, a big one is around the corner. It's the end of the school year, graduation time. We've returned all our library books, finished our special projects, and emptied our cubbies. Next year, we'll be in a new classroom with a new teacher. To be honest, I'm having a hard time finding my sparkle about this. Change is hard, even for a fairy princess. First of all, I love Miss Pym, the teacher we've had all year. She lets me wear my crown in class, and we get to paint and dance and sing and do fun projects. I also love our classroom and our class pet, Houdini the hamster. Miss Pym says my exuberance will set the tone wherever I go, and we are all ready to move on. I don't feel ready at all. We don't even know who the new teacher will be. Miss Pym says she's sure it will be someone very nice. How can she be so sure? What if it's a grumpy witch with a wart on her nose? What if there's no class pet? Worst of all, what if I'm not allowed to bring my wings and crown to class? Fairy princesses are team players, but it's important to be ready for curveballs. Mommy says she's sure everything will be just fine, and besides, all my friends are moving up as well. Daddy says my sparkle will brighten any classroom. My brother Stuart says I'd be a princess even if I wore a paper bag on my head. This does not help. On the last day of school, things get even worse. All our artwork comes down off the walls, even my life-size portrait of Miss Pym. We say goodbye to Houdini, who's going to a farm for summer vacation. The classroom looks so empty. I'm going to miss everything so much. Fairy princesses can be a tad sentimental. Miss Pym gathers us together on the rug. Good news, boys and girls, she says. Your new teacher has been announced. His name is Mr. Benario. Mr. Benario? Our new teacher is a man? He'll never believe that I'm a fairy princess, and he can't possibly appreciate my rings and crown. This is going to be the most unsparkly year in school history. The next morning, I am so upset I can hardly eat breakfast. Daddy makes his special pancakes, but I only have three. Even a fairy princess can lose her appetite when she's stressed. Mommy tells me I have the whole summer to get used to the idea of a new teacher. I say, well, I don't want him calling me Geraldine. Stuart says, oh, Paul, please. When I get to school, there is another problem. We have to wear a funny hat with a tassel and a blue robe for graduation. I can go without my wings for the ceremony, but I can't possibly give up my crown. A fairy princess without a crown is like a cone without ice cream. Miss Pym understands. She pins my crown on top of my hat. Congratulations, my fairy princess graduate, she says. Keep that sparkle bright. The hat feels wobbly, so I walk with my head very straight. Fairy princesses have perfect posture, so it's easy to adjust. The graduation ceremony begins. Miss Pym and some of the other teachers make speeches, telling our parents how proud they are of us. Mr. Higginbottom leads us all in a song. Then our names are called, and one by one we walk through the graduation arch. Everyone applauds, and we throw our hats in the air. Whee! Oh no, my crown! It flies off my head and sails over the audience. A hand reaches up to snatch it. Whose can it be? Will I ever get my crown back? 
Graduation is ruined. After the ceremony, there's a party with cupcakes and punch, but I'm too upset to celebrate. I am putting my wings back on when a voice says, I think this belongs to you. A man with curly hair and twinkly eyes is holding my crown. He has orange sneakers and polka dotted socks. A fairy princess should never be without her royal accessories, he says, smiling. Jerry, isn't it? I'm Mr. Benario. I'm so happy you'll be in my class. You're going to love Hazel, our pet hedgehog. Looks like next year will be super sparkly after all. The End